Hello everyone and welcome. The holidays are just around the corner, so today I bring you another inexpensive yet very useful product that you can give to that car enthusiast in your family. Even if you have a friend or family member that is a car nut that probably seems to have just about everything car related under the sun, they probably don't have this device that we're going to be looking at today. This little device is a brake fluid moisture content tester. The braking system is one of the most important yet least inspected parts of your car. Everyone knows that you should change your brake fluid every so often to maintain good stopping quality. The problem is how often are you supposed to change your brake fluid? The answer can be found very easily when you have one of these handy brake fluid content testers right here. This little device will test the brake fluid in your car and tell you if it's okay or needs to be changed. All this in a matter of seconds without any delay. So anyone can check their brake fluid anytime with this little fella right here and do it very easily. No technical knowledge required. So let's test this little guy out and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. All right. Here's a shot of the box here. Let's open this guy up and see how it performs. All right, guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now, this is the Brake Fluid Moisture Content Tester from King Bowen, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $23.99. And they also have a 10% discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. So for around 20 bucks, this makes a fantastic gift for any car nut in your friends or family circle. The dimensions on this guy are fairly compact. There's only six inches by two inches by one inch, and it only weighs five ounces. This guy runs on two AAA batteries, not included, you have to supply your own. It has a nice high resolution display that is backlit for easy use during the day or nighttime. Even in a dark garage or something like that, this little guy can still be very visible. It also has an audible alarm, so when the moisture content is too high, the alarm goes off and tells you that it's time to change that brake fluid. The probe also has a flashlight on it to make it easy to see where you're putting it and to inspect the color and condition of the brake fluid, check the reservoir, see if there's any contaminants or anything inside of it, etc. Now this guy is fairly universal as far as checking just about any kind of brake fluid out there. It works with DOT 3, DOT 4, and DOT 5.1. So fairly any kind of vehicle out there, this guy can take care of you. The results are also instant when you're testing your brake fluid. There's no waiting. And the flexible gooseneck on this can get into just about any location that you need it. And in case you're curious, it is 12 inches long. I measured it. And this little gooseneck is corrosion resistant because brake fluid can be very corrosive. And that's one thing to be careful with when you're doing the testing and using this unit. Make sure that you wipe it off when you take it out of the reservoir because you don't want that brake fluid to drip on your paint. It can be very corrosive, so be very careful with that. The unit has a nice little rubber overmold at the bottom there, making it easier for you to handle. So this device is great because it checks the health and usefulness of the brake fluid in your car by testing the amount of moisture or water in your brake fluid. Brake fluid is hygroscopic, meaning that it attracts moisture. Once a certain level of moisture is reached, then it no longer becomes effective as a hydraulic fluid for stopping your vehicle. Once the moisture content becomes too high, the boiling point is reduced, therefore rendering it useless. So how much moisture does your brake fluid have right now? That is what this little guy is going to tell you. So let's do a little testing and see exactly how this guy works and how effective it can be. All right, guys, so let's take a little closer look at the unit right here on my bench because later on when I'm handling it and using it to test it on the vehicle, you probably won't be able to see it as well as you can right now. So you can see a very compact, slender, lightweight unit right there. And the menu right there and the buttons right there, very easy to use. Now, as far as the menu and the buttons go, the buttons are very simple, only four buttons. On, off button right there. The menu is for selecting up here the brake fluid that you have. Dot three, dot four, or dot 5.1. Very easy to run through those when you're doing that. And I know most of you are probably wondering, well, what brake fluid do I have? Well, that's very easy to answer. Most of you do not have to worry. Most people out there have mass-produced vehicles. And mass-produced vehicles, for the most part, come with DOT 3. Very few vehicles will ever have DOT 4 or DOT 5.1. 
Those are generally for like police vehicles, ambulances, race cars, vehicles that are made to go fast. So if you have like a Ferrari or a Corvette or something like that, you may have to have dot four, dot five, something like that. Otherwise, don't even worry about it. You're all 90% of you, 99% of you, let's say, are going to have dot three. So there's nothing to worry about. As you can see right up here in the corner, also it tells you that the battery level, the batteries that put in it are brand new, so obviously they're going to be fully charged. This part of the menu over here never changes. That's just your indicator telling you what's going on. Over here on this side, it will have a bar graph that will go up and down, as we'll see in a moment, and then that relates to what is going on over here. And that'll tell you if it's okay or if you have a problem. So that's not much to worry about right there. The probe over here, as you can see, has a little flashlight on it, and you turn it on with this guy right there, and you turn it off again with that, and this guy right here is for your backlit display. Very easy. Those four buttons, that's all they do. And you can see on the probe here, it has a couple of little electrical contacts right there, and that's how it does the testing of your brake fluid. So let's go test this guy out and see how it performs. All right, guys, so here we are at the brake reservoir of my car. This is my 09 Mustang, so this is about 13 years old. So it may be about time to change the fluid on this vehicle. So let's check and see how it looks. Now, this is your reservoir right here, and basically on the cap, most vehicles out there, 99.9% .9 of the vehicles out there, modern vehicles, will tell you exactly what type of fluid you need to put in there. And most of them, like this one, will say dot .3. Now, obviously, if you go back to uh, vehicles that are from the 1960s, 70s, 50s, etc., the really older vehicles will not have any kind of markings on there because they had a metallic reservoir, so it's a little different. But most of the modern ones that have plastic caps on them will tell you exactly what you need on there. And most of the older vehicles you don't need to worry about anyway because they will be dot .3. I don't even think dot .4 or .5 existed if you go back to the 60s, 50s, around there that has been created to deal with the modern needs of uh, high-speed vehicles. So here we go. Now, when you're going to test this out, first of all, wipe it all down. You don't want any junk getting inside the reservoir when you open up the cap. So get an old rag or something and be sure to wipe it down first. And then once it's clean, all you do is unscrew the cap. And there you go. Just take off the cap. Like I said, have a rag nearby. This one is dry, so there's no trouble there. And let's see. I'll let you see what it says. Let me put it right here. I'll let you see what it says. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but you can see right there that there's a lot of writing on most caps and it tells you everything about your vehicle and what you need to do. So let's go from there. And I have the little tester right here. I have the little tester right here ready to go. And I have it set to dot three right there. And all we need to do is let's see, let's uh, look at with the flashlight in there. And you can see that the flashlight helps you to look inside the reservoir. And let me put it inside there, and we'll see what we have. And putting it inside there, let me put it toward the camera. You can see right there that we're still in the OK range. Let me change the, move that around so you can see a little bit better. You can see the bar graph there, and you can see that it is still in the OK range. So actually, I don't need to change this fluid yet. It still seems to be just fine. So then when you're taking it out, be sure to grab this little guy, have a rag nearby, and clean it off. Don't let that fluid get anywhere on your paint because it will mess it up. So there you have it. And then when you take it out, it obviously goes back to zero. So that's very convenient to use right there. All right, I moved the camera so you can get a little bit better view of what's going on. And I'm going to do the test again so you can see exactly how it performs. And another thing to point out is as uh, I'm lighting it up right now, you can see the fluid in there. You can see that it's actually quite dark, but that's one thing like they say, you never go by the color of the fluid. The color is not a good indicator of any problems with the fluid. It can be clear, it can be dark, but it doesn't affect if it's good or bad. So that has nothing to do with it. You may want to look and see if there's contaminants down at the bottom to flush out the system, but that's a different thing for a different story. So let's look at the unit right here, and I'm going to put it right here. And I haven't put it in yet, but now I'm going to put the probe into the fluid, and then you'll see right there, it tells you exactly the content level of the moisture in your fluid. There you can see very clearly that it's still at only 1%. So that's still in the OK range. Once it gets up to around 3 or 4, then you have a problem. I still have a ways to go on this one. So even though it's 13 years old, it is still quite good. That's why this little device for around 20 bucks can be very, very useful. Because if you go ahead and pay someone to do it or do it yourself, you're going to easily spend around 20 bucks on a fluid change where you really may not even need it.
So there you go. This little device is economical and saves you money at the same time. So there you have it. All right, guys, there you have it. A very useful yet economical device that can clear up any confusion you may have about your brake fluid contamination. It can also save you a lot of time and money. Why bother guessing if the brake fluid in your vehicle is good or not? For around 20 bucks, you can have this little tester that can tell you for certain if you need a brake fluid change or not. Doing a brake fluid flush yourself will cost you around 20 bucks for the fluid, so not having to do that pays for the cost of this unit. If you pay a shop to do a brake fluid flush, you will spend easily over $100 just to get the job done. Don't be fooled by shops trying to upsell you on things that you really don't need. So whether you get this little guy for yourself or as a holiday gift, it is inexpensive and I'm sure whoever you give it to will be very happy to receive it. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.